Hey guys, I wanted to make a video to help those of you who want to know how to make your eBay listings mobile friendly. And there's been a lot of talk about this lately and I wanted to show you what I do and then also talk about the new link that eBay has um, on their listing page that is supposed to help you make it mobile friendly. Um, so I wanted to show you just a little bit about that. So basically, you want your listings to be mobile friendly because you want buyers to be able to see them on the eBay mobile app. Now I'll tell you my experience of what was actually happening. A lot of times I would look on the mobile app for one of my own listings, like not, not within the app uh, dashboard because you can only see, I think 600 of your own listings there, but I would actually go search like I was a buyer. And a lot of times I wasn't finding my listings and I couldn't figure out why. And then I realized it was because my listings were not considered to be mobile friendly, even though most of them are created on the mobile app, they were not showing to be mobile friendly. Um, so what I ended up doing was doing some research and found out how to make it mobile friendly. Um, so if you go to Google and you put in eBay mobile friendly test, the very first thing that pops up is this little website here. And you can put in one of your eBay item IDs. Um, let's, let's go in and put, um, I'm just gonna put in blue shirt and I'm just gonna pull anyone's random listing and we'll see if they're, if they're let's grab this one. Well, no, let's grab one that looks like it's just a basic listing, like maybe this one doesn't have a stock photo or anything like that. I don't know this seller um, or anything. I just want to grab something that looks like a regular reseller and not some big company trying to sell. And let's test it. Now there's a very good possibility that even if it fails the test, it could still be showing up on the app, but it's not reliable that, that people are going to be able to see your listings on mobile unless you have them optimized. So it's still analyzing and it is not mobile friendly. So you'll see here, uh, it has, um, it doesn't have the meta tag, which is what this is. And this is what we're going to be working with. So what you would do is just, um, you don't, you don't want to just copy this and paste it and use it like it is because it has coloring in it and that will, that will not work. So what we need to do is copy and paste it. Now you could copy this into a text file and then copy it again or paste it into a text file and then copy it again. Or the easiest thing to do is just, paste it up here, click off of it, then go back and copy it again from here. And that strips out the coloring. So now we've got what we need on our clipboard. And I'm going to actually go into my eBay. And um, let's go and pretend like we're going to create a new listing. So I'm going to click create a listing. And let's just say I'm going to put in Ann Taylor Black sweater, dress, size, large. Okay, just making something up. So I'm going to choose that and we're going to get going on our listing. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to type in some of my description. So I'll just say this is a beautiful dress in a size large, um, perfect condition. Okay, that's all I'm going to say. Now, eBay has this new mobile friendly checker over here. And if you click on it, it's supposed to tell you whether it is mobile friendly. Now you can click on fix it for me and supposedly that fixes it. I will tell you that I don't trust it yet. And the reason is because I did that on a few of my listings that I hadn't updated yet. And then I went back to the test site that I showed you first and I put the item number in and it would still say that it was not mobile friendly. So I don't hundred percent trust this little link thing yet and I don't use it at all. So what I do, and, and another reason I don't trust it is because if you go over here to the HTML tag, the tag still isn't here that needs to be there to make things mobile friendly. So unless eBay is, adding it in the background somewhere, <laughs> then I don't know how that little thing is fixing it. But all you need to do is that I put it at the end of whatever it is I'm typing and I just paste in that little tag. 
And if you click back over to standard, you'll see that you won't see anything over here, but it is in the HTML. Uh, it is tagged in there. So that's all that you have to do. And then you just go down and you list as normal. And that way you can um, make sure that things are actually mobile friendly. So let's go back out and I'm gonna go back to my listings and let's take a look at one of my listings because I add this in every listing now. Um, and like, so these are some of my listings from today. So let's say, let's, let's grab this one. And this is actually one of my older listings, but I um, relisted today, not relisted actually, sell similar today. So let's take that and let's go over, cause I do it manually. So let's go over and see, does it show mobile friendly? And it does, that's because I add it, um, I add it manually. Now, when I found out about this, I was freaking out because I have over 2,300 listings and I'm like, how am I gonna get them all updated for this mobile friendly thing? So what you have to do then is just go in and use the bulk editor. So if you have a lot of listings, even if you have 100 listings, you just need to go into the bulk editor and of course it makes you break it up but you could take listings you know one to 500 and all you have to do is just add it into your descriptions using a, the html code and it literally took minutes to do so i did this while i was actually taking photos of listings so then all you have to do is highlight all of your listings go up to edit fields and then you're going to look at item description and then switch to HTML editor, and you just add it right here, and then make sure that this says add to item description. Do not find and replace or edit listings individually. This is something you wanna to add to your item description. So you can use this for all sorts of things, but th this situation you would just put, whoops, I forgot I had that on my dashboard uh, or on my clipboard. So basically you would take the little link that I gave you before, put that here, save and close, and then just submit all of your changes. So um, that's all you have to do. So you can do it individually as you list. And then if you have a lot of listings already, you can go in and just manually update those by doing the bulk editor. And that will make it um, a lot easier for people to find you on mobile. It will make your listings optimized and hopefully it will increase your sales. Uh, so that's it, and I will see you later.